What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kara Coop. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to have a collective haul of fragrances. Now, before y'all trip, I did not buy all these fragrances at one time. Ain't nobody balling like that, okay? I bought these fragrances over a span of the last, last couple of months. So, we had the Sephora sale. We had my birthday. Um, we just had Mother's Day. We have, you know, I'm treating myself because it's, you know, ain't nobody else doing it day. Sometimes we got to have those, okay? So if you're interested, keep watching. Yeah. No, I really can't complain. Okay, guys, again, thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Now, before we go any further, make sure, guys, that you subscribe to this channel and you like the video. I know I've been a little MIA. Life has been, life is life, okay? I ain't gonna sit here and give y'all a whole story. Just know I got a kid, I got a lot going on, and life is life, okay? But I am, so on a serious note, I am trying to really grow this platform and take it more serious because I do love makeup, I do love fragrances, I do love lifestyle videos. So I am trying to get some vlogs together, get more comfortable on the camera with vlogging. So y'all, just go ahead and like the channel, okay? It's only up from here. <laughs> so the first fragrance that we're gonna talk about today is Marc Jacobs, perf excuse me, perfect Marc Jacobs intent. Let me say it right. This, first of all, this is gorgeous. If you look at the top, I'm gonna to try to show y'all and I'm gonna pop a picture up as well so y'all can see it. I don't want my light to mess it up. But this, the top of this bottle is gorgeous. There is a, a domino on here, a white shoe, a bow, a heel, a little cat and a cherry. I don't know what all of that means, okay? I really don't. I didn't look up that part of it. I just know that it's a beautiful bottle. Um, even the way that it's shaped, it looks really nice on a vanity. It looks nice on a dress or however you store your fragrances. It's just a really pretty bottle. Now, I purchased this fragrance, the travel size, last year. because, And it was actually around this time last year. I wasn't completely crazy about it when I smelled it in the store. And I'm like, I don't really know if I want to purchase a full bottle of this. Like, I don't, I don't know. And it was warmer, you know what I mean? So maybe that had something to do with it. So I purchased the travel, never wore it. Then as it started to get cooler, like in around the fall, I was like, oh, I actually really like this. This is all right. So when the Sephora had their sale oh, this April, I actually added this to my list and I purchased this. And I'm so glad I did. I've worn it a couple times. So it's a, I mean, you can tell I use it a little bit. It's got a little bit of a dent in it. But I sprayed pretty heavy. And I think that I'm going to actually not use this right now. I really want to wear this when it gets colder outside. Because it's to me, I smell coffee in it. But according to uh, Fragrantica, it says jasmine, almond, and the base is sandalwood. I definitely smell the almond in it. The almond is really, really strong. I definitely smell the sandalwood as well, and the jasmine too, but I smell coffee. Like, it's, it's got like, a, it has to have a coffee note in it. And I know I've seen it in somebody's video, but I can actually smell it. But I love this fragrance. And I think it's actually okay to wear now, but I'm really gonna dig into this when it gets colder. And that is perfect Marc Jacobs intent. Okay, guys, so my next set, um, and you'll kind of see the pattern. A lot of these are designer fragrances. I have one niche, okay? Niche, niche, where have you said niche? <laughs> but the next fragrance um, is a fragrance also, I think I purchased this last year, the year before, but it was a travel size. And again, I wasn't like really crazy about it. Um, I just said I would keep it in my bag. Well, if I was traveling somewhere and I didn't want to bring like my, my good-ish, I would just throw it in my bag. And I actually, when I wore the travel, I loved it. So I saw it on sale and I was like, yo, I'm getting it. And that is Chloe Nomad Eau de Parfum. 
and I'm gonna say that because I think it's like several ones but um and I will pop a picture of the box that I actually got but this is the Nomad and this is really pretty I feel like it smells how the bottle looks I don't know if that makes sense but this is gorgeous it is so pretty it's so light and I don't really like a lot of light scents but this is really light but it lasts a long time the set that I got it actually had this bottle in it it had a uh, body lotion and it had a tra another travel so I actually have another travel but that is actually it's actually shaped like this bottle but it's just really small and it's such a pretty bottle it smells really good the notes in it is bergamot lemon orange um freesia peach i smell the peach in it and i really like it it's not like that bitter peach by tom ford it's really subtle it's really pretty um there's rose in it oak moss amber amber wood patchouli musk and sandalwood and i do smell I smell all of that. Um, I don't really go for scents that have lemon or kind of citrusy kind of scent. I don't, that's not my vibe. That's not my thing. It's orange in it too. I don't know if I said that. I don't really go for that, those notes, but there's something so pretty about this. It's extremely light. It's, it's feminine. It's, it's super feminine. You know what I mean? I feel actually kind of girly. Any other time I feel rough, but <laughs> I feel kind of girly wearing this. And then longevity, you want it lasts really long. Um, I do still, I have the, the travel so I can take the travel, but you don't even really need to freshen up with this. Even if you put the lotion in your bag, you could kind of use that and it still lasts a long time on me, like eight hours. So I really like this. And that is Chloe Nomad. Okay, guys, so the next scent, well, it's not really a perfume. It is a body cream, and, but it is a scented body cream. And that is Mason Francis Kirchner Baccalaureate Rouge 540 Body Cream. Now, this is just a splurge by, like, it was for my birthday. I deserve it. And I really wanted this. I don't want it to necessarily wear with the Baccarat Rouge all the time. I want to wear it with other fragrances. And I want to wear it by itself. And I really like how Baccarat Rouge smell. I'm not going to go into Baccarat got this and that. We all know what's in Baccarat Rouge. Everybody has smelled it. Um, if you haven't, I will leave the notes of Baccarat Rouge on the screen. But yeah, this is just it was something I got for my birthday. So yeah. The 540 body cream. Okay, guys. So the next thing, y'all, I slept on this. It's a couple in here that I slept on, okay? And this is one of them. When this, when I smelled this probably a year, might have been, might have been a little bit longer than that. I smelled the original and I wasn't really feeling the original like that. But this one, the Adele El Intense, and I could be saying it wrong, Lee Intense. We're gonna call it the uh Lancome Idol Intense, okay? I think it's an L somewhere in there. I don't know. But anyway, um, this is, I love this. I think that this is a perfect set to be someone's signature scent. Like, if it's something that, you know how you know somebody and they always, you know a man and he always smell like, uh, uh, what's the, the, the Dior I'll put a picture up. I, I I know what it smells like. I just can't remember the name. But I know somebody, every time I see him, he smells like that. So it's it's, not, it's like a signature scent. And I think that this is something that is worthy to be a signature scent. When you see a person you that wears this, you know it's them because of this smell. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. It's super light. It lasts all day. Um, I don't like the bottle. Um, if you watch YouTube videos, some people like the bottle, some people don't. I don't particularly care for it. It's very weird. Like, are you supposed to stand it up like this? What are you supposed to do with this? Do you slide it in your pocket? I don't know what they was going with the bottle, but I don't necessarily care for the bottle. I think there's a stand. 
I think I read or saw somewhere online where somebody said something about a stand. I don't know about that. But this one, I believe this one is the 1.7. I wish I had got the bigger bottle. I really, really like this, y'all. The notes in it is rose, jasmine, warm musk, cedar, and vanilla. Y'all, you can smell all of that in this fragrance, okay? It is so strong. I spray a lot. You really don't even have to spray that much of this, and it will last. And when I got this, I actually got it from Macy's. Macy's, y'all know the last month had like this 15% off for like, it was a long time. I believe it was for Mother's Day. It was a couple weeks they had this 15% off. So the um, in my box, I got like the lotion. I got some other Lancome stuff. But the lotion smells really good too. So I don't even have to decant this. I just put the lotion in my bag and go. And if I, you know, feel like, oh, I want to freshen up, just put the lotion on. And, but, y'all, this is amazing. Okay, y'all, go smell this. If you've never smelled it, I think you should go smell it. Like, I think this will appeal to young people. I think it will appeal to, oh, I can see it appealing to older people. But young girls can wear this too. You know what I mean? If you are somebody young and you're just, like, really trying to get in the fragrance, this isn't super offensive. I don't think it's going to, like, oh, God, what do you got on? It's not going to do that. It's good. Anything, you're going to get compliments. So, y'all check it out. This is the Lancome. I do tips. So, the next one is from a house. Everybody has heard of this house. And this is probably, like, my fifth one. So, I think I'm done. Oh, I got one more I need to get. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of going crazy with the MFK. But this one is uh, Mason Francis Kirk John Feminine Pluriel. And, y'all, this is a very interesting scent. You don't really... I don't really see a lot of people saying that they like this scent. Even in the store, when I went to Saks, um, and I think that's because they're so used to people coming in, they either want Baccarat or they want uh, Baccarat Rouge or they want the straight. But I really just wanted this one. I mean, I had Baccarat Rouge and I have a couple others, but this is so different to me. I got a sample of it last year when I bought Usain Moo and I loved it. In the beginning, I actually got two samples. So the first sample I wore it in the summertime and it was really, really hot and I couldn't smell it at all. The second time I wore it, it was getting cooler and I really liked it. It was soft. Now I'm going to read the notes in this perfume. And then I'm going to tell y'all what I think it smells like, okay? <laughs> and you know, if you watched my last video um, of that haul with the Zara fragrances, I'm going to, you know, put it somewhere up here in the cards. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I got to go with what I feel, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell y'all what I think it smells like and why I kept it. But the notes in this... Is iris, rose, violet, lily of the valley, vetiver, patchouli, and orange blossom. I don't smell none of that. This smells like nihilators, and it smells like plastic on a Barbie doll. That's what it smells like to me. And not a cabbage patch, because you know what? Cabbage patch plastic was different. To me, it smelled different than Barbie plastic. It's something plastic about it. I don't know what it is, but I like how it smells. It's almost nostalgic. Like, I don't know. That's that's what I get from it. And if somebody else smells it, they probably won't get that. They'll probably think I'm crazy as hell for what I just said, but that's what it smells like to me. And I actually like how that smells. It doesn't really last that long. I'm noticing that. So if y'all know of a good uh, body cream with any of those notes I just named. I will pop them on the screen. I don't care if it's from Target. Well, I don't like Walmart, but I don't, care. I don't like going at Walmart. I'm not going to say I don't like Walmart, but I don't care if it's high end, low end. Let me know if y'all know of a good body cream that would go good with this. 
Now, I know sometimes people take the MFKs. I've seen a video with that. They'll take their MFKs and mix them and, you know, layer them. I can't see me layering this with the ones that I have. And I have a couple, but this is just, it's so different. It's in a class of its own, but I like it. And I'm going to keep it. I really, I can't return it now, but I'm going to keep it. Um, it's my, I like how it smells. So that is Mason Francis Kirchon Feminine Floreal. Okay, guys. So this next fragrance, these last two are um, fragrances I bought for my birthday. So that's something that I started last year. Um, because I really just started, like I said, my journey with fragrances is it's fairly new. I'm not, I'm in, you know, hey, I'm going to keep it real. Bad for body works, okay? I ain't ashamed. Fight me. <laughs> but no, I really, really started getting more and more into fragrances last year. There were certain fragrances that I did like, but I really, really got into fragrances last year. But these two fragrances were... Definitely, definitely influenced from social media and from YouTube and like two of my favorites that I watch on here. This one that I'm about to tell y'all right now, before I even show y'all, I watched A Out of Grades video. Um, and I'm gonna link anybody that I try to do that, anybody that I talk about or anybody any channel that I watch because it's a learning process. Like, you got to give people credit where it's due. And this is their fault, okay? <laughs> I watched A Out of Grey's video and I watched Chris Love Lux video. And they talked about this fragrance. And I had saw the fragrance before they even talked about it. I knew about it, but I just never thought to, to go and smell it. And every time I went to a store to smell it, I'm like, oh my God, like, why are they talking about this? this is like, boss, this is pretty. And I I thought that I love the scent of rose, okay? I, you couldn't tell me I didn't love rose, okay? And I'm just like, there ain't no way I would wear this on my, I don't, maybe, maybe it's what they using, the, the soap that they using, the body wash and the body cream. There's no way I'm buying that. Okay, this is how I know that my nose is evolving. <sighs> Time for a rose prick, y'all. This, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> and I absolutely hated this. I smelled this the first, the very first time that I actually smelled it. I said, there is no way in hell I would put this on my body. And the thing about it is, I never sprayed it on my body. I never, I sprayed it in the store, in the cap. Like, ooh, oh God. Y'all, A.I. Great <laughs> and Chris Love Lux, they influenced this. Now, I really wanted to hate this. And I'm going to show y'all the other fragrance that I got in a minute. And I still, that's another, that's the first fragrance I bought for my birthday. But this one right here, this is boss. Like, to me, this is like, you're going to wear this to a boss man. You're going to demand attention. People are going to ask you what you have on. This is so damn strong. This is so pretty. Um, I can't remember who I saw somebody. I can't remember who it was. They said that they mix this with Ooze Satin Mood, the oil. I want to get the actual Ooze Satin Mood body oil. And I find it very funny that I did not like this. And I loved Ooze Satin Mood. They smell so similar. Okay. So let me just, let's just go back. Well, I don't want to spend too much time on this. But when I got the next fragrance that I'm going to show you, and I'm going all out of order, y'all, my bad. The lady at Saks gave me a sample of this. And she gave me a sample of Bitter Peach. 
So we went back and forth about it. So she's like, yeah, oh, you would not, you wouldn't like it. I said, well, I've smelled rose prick and I don't really like it. And I smell bitter peach. Now, bitter peach and this don't have nothing. They're both two different scents. If I like this, I'm probably sure that I love bitter peach. Okay. And I have a sample of it. So anyway, the woman gave me the samples. Um, this was the day before my birthday. That Saturday, I needed to go to the mall. So I'm getting my clothes together, trying to figure out what scent I'm gonna wear for the day. I said, I'm gonna wear this sample because I ain't really doing nothing today. And I knew that I was wearing ooh satin mood that night. <sighs> I put the damn sample on. I said, oh, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this today, like right now, right now. My mother was here visiting. <laughs> I said, Mom, I'm about to go. I gotta find, I gotta do some research real quick. But I need to I need to get this perfume. So she was like, let me smell it. Let me smell it. Damn, it smelled that good. She loved it. Okay. This scent is at the cosmetic company. Now my mama don't know what the cosmetic company is. She looking at me like, what the hell is that? So I said, yeah, so I need to make some calls. Now this same weekend. Nordstrom had the 15% off, so I could have got the smaller bottle. This is a 3.100 milliliter, 3.4 ounce. So I could have got the 1.7 and saved like 15% off that. And I'm like, nah, this is something like I want to wear. Like, I want it. Like, I, I need a big bottle of it. But I didn't want to pay the big bottle price, the 500 and some odd dollar price. So yeah, we need to call the cosmetic company. So I called the cosmetic company and I'm like, hey, I'm going to ask y'all this. Do y'all have rose prick? She said, girl, we just got them in yesterday. Can, can you put me one up? How, but how much is it first before I even drive all the way out there? Because the, the outlet is like an hour. The lady said, oh, it's two fifty. dollars plus you get 15 I I don't, just put it up. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't let nobody touch my, put my name on it. I'm coming. I go all the way out there, y'all, and got it. And I got this, and I got another, um, and I will pop a picture up. It was an Estee Lauder scent, which I'm not crazy about it. It's pretty, but I wear it to bed. I got both of those scents for $250. <laughs> this, let me just tell y'all what's in it. I'm sorry. I, I've been talking about this for a minute. I'm going to have to really edit this down. But this is gorgeous, like, y'all. Don't, I, I, I told y'all my, my journey is new. Don't spray this stuff in the cap on the store. You got to put it on your skin. I swore for a year that I would never buy this. I, don't, I kept saying, I don't know why anybody would want to smell. This stinks. And I love roses. But this actually, I thought this was horrible. When I put it on my skin, it took me back to a place when somebody actually cared about me and bought me roses. That's how, that's the memory that it invoked in my head. Okay, not that I necessarily wanted that person back, but it put that in my head like, yo, this is this is a real rose. This is what roses actually smell like. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what's in it. Then we got to go to the next one, okay? <laughs> it's Szechuan peppers. It's turmeric, May rose, Bulgarian rose, patchouli, and Tonka bean, y'all. Y'all. Time for rose prick. Aotta Grey and Chris Love Lux. Yeah, they're to the blame for this. I'm going to get another bottle. I need another bottle at the $250 price, though. <laughs> I'm not paying $500 for this. But, y'all, it's worth it. It's that good. And I have a lot of it left. I'm getting another bottle. Time for it, Rose Break. Okay, guys. So, the last, the very last. Well, no, no, no. Wait. I got one more, too. This ain't the last fragrance. I'm sorry. We, I, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing, y'all. Please don't judge me. Okay. One of the last scents. <laughs> um, this is the, the actual scent that I bought, like, really for my birthday. Um, I've been looking at this house for a long time. Haven't really, you know, wasn't really sure what I wanted. Um, back in January, uh, I went to Saks in my area. And I will pop a picture up so y'all can see it. 
I was calling myself trying to do a vlog, but it ain't really work out that way. But <laughs> I got um, a couple of samples of uh, some scents by this house. And um, it's funny because on all the samples I got, I ended up getting something totally different. But the scent that I got for my birthday is Tiziana Terenzi Cassiopeia. And I don't know if y'all can see that. And this, y'all, this is so pretty. This is really, and this, y'all, my fingers are not on the side. But um, <laughs> this is really, really pretty. It's a heavy ass bottle, though. This bottle is really heavy. It comes with another top that you can put um, on, on top of here. So you don't have to wear it. You don't have to, you know, hold it with this. But this is really pretty. I love how this looks. And the scent notes in this, this was also influenced from YouTube, social media, Ayana Great. Mm -hmm. This is her. I tagged her on uh, Instagram because this is who made me buy this. <laughs> but this one has um, passion fruit, uh, cassis, lemon, fern, carnation, lily of the valley. It's another scent with lily of the valley. Tea, tonka bean, and sandalwood. And I smell all of that. I don't know about the cassises. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'll be frightened if I told y'all I knew what that was. I probably do, but anyway. But this is a really, it's a really heavy bottle. It's so pretty. It's really light too, and it lasts long. Um, I'm just like really getting into Tiziana Terenzi. I do want to get to bit. I think that one smells really, really good. They just so damn expensive, okay? So I'm gonna have to use somebody cold or something and get it online. Is this leather? Wait a minute, I didn't realize that the little, the label, I think the label is leather. Huh, that's pretty. But um, I really wanted this. I try to, you know, we have to treat ourselves, y'all, okay? We had to treat ourselves. So when I got this scent, it was the day before my birthday. And the lady that the Tizzy out of Terizzi rep in the store, she was like, oh, well, if you come back tomorrow, you can just get it. Um, you can get a $35 um, gift card, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I was mad at myself because I didn't do it. I was like, I'm like, look, if you want this sale, let's go to do it now. Because if I got to come back here tomorrow, I'm going to just go online and buy it, okay? I wanted the day. Let's wrap it up, okay? And, yeah, this was a scent that I got for my birthday. And I did that last year. Last year, I bought a, um, a Bond, uh, New York Nights. So, this year for my birthday, I got Tiziana Terizzi, Cassia. Okay, guys, so the last fragrance this part of the video is going to be like a small unboxing. I already know what it is. I just ain't taking it out. I'm taking it out of the box yet. But um, this is actually a scent that I got for Mother's Day. And I went to the mall the day before Mother's Day. And I smelled it in the store. And I wasn't, I liked it. But I'm like, I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want it. Ugh. And I smelled it last year. Same thing. Didn't know if I wanted it. But um I got home and ordered it online and ended up going back to the store to pick it up during the week. So that scent is, it's a Joe Malone scent. So this is gonna be my first unboxing. <laughs> Let me stop, I already know what this shit is. But it's um, it's a Joe Malone scent. I'm gonna open it on camera with y'all and show you guys. And you know, they, well, I just I just messed up the unboxing. I took the little ribbon down, but um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get it open so I can show you guys what it is. And they wrap this stuff so nice. I always keep these little bags. I have a couple of them in the boxes from Joe Malone. And it comes like this. So that's cute. I waited for y'all. Okay. That's what the girls be doing. <laughs> but anyway, let's let's open this, y'all. So yeah, this is a a really pretty scent. I think I'm going to wear it now for the summer or spring. Let's see what it is. What y'all think it is? Comment down below what y'all think it is for I open it. I ain't got that many subscribers yet, but <laughs> well, what y'all think it is though, for real? Okay, let's go. Let's see what it is, guys. 
And it is, it is Scarlet Poppy. Now they could have put that in there, but we got it off. It's Scarlet Poppy, y'all. This is so, this smells so good. This is really, I, what I'm noticing about Joe Malone, in your sense, I don't like, <laughs> this is about to sound real ignorant, it's like, you know, I ain't no real frag head, but, well, I'm a frag head, but I ain't an elevated frag head. I don't like the clear bottles of Joe Malone. I love the black bottles and the, um, the color bottles. There's another color bottle that I want to get. And I think the black bottles, those are intense. Yeah, I think they're intense because I have a couple of those. But this one, Scarlet Poppy, I got a sample of it last year and I didn't, I wasn't really crazy about it. But when I went to the mall last Saturday, I smelled it again and I kept coming back to it. And um, I, sold, I told the rep, yeah, so I'm going to walk around and I'm not really sure. And I bought a couple things from that girl before. So I think she was probably waiting for me to come back. And um, I was like, I don't know. I'm going to sleep on it. When I got home, I was like, yo, let me go ahead and get it. Because I actually really like it. And I'm starting to get more and more to Joe Malone. But like I said, I really like the black bottles, the intense bottles. And I like this. And this one is actually... It's Scarlet Poppy, the cologne intense. So this one is intense as well. It's just a red bottle. The notes, I'm gonna leave the notes on the screen. Oh, it's earthy. It's really, really earthy. It's sweet. I'm getting more and more of the sweet fragrances. And it's, it's almost kind of floral. It's really pretty, y'all. Um, I'm going to pop the notes up so y'all can see the exact notes that are in it. But I smell something floral. Um, it's kind of spicy to me, too. I don't know why. I smell like a spice or herb or something. But this is really a really nice per perfume, cologne perfume. And it's really pretty to look at. Y'all see the bottle? It's like red. So, I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about it. Comment down below if y'all have this. But I like it. Okay, guys, that concludes the video. Thank y'all so much for coming back to my channel, for rocking with me through this video. I know it's a little long. I was all over the place. We was talking about body creams, perfume. Y'all, we was talking about a lot, okay? Don't forget, like this video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Also, go over to Instagram. Like my page on Instagram at Kira underscore Poop. It's lit over there, okay? Y'all, thanks so much for the love. I promise, guys, I'm starting to be a little bit more consistent on this platform. But I need y'all help, okay? I got some big things coming up for us in the summer. I got to get to at least 500 subscribers, though, before I let y'all know what the big things are, okay? <laughs> anyway, thanks, y'all. appreciate the love. Peace and blessings.